Welcome to part number 24 of Gran Turismo 5 B Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and we're going to do something different today. I don't know what exactly we're going to do, but as you can see, we're now level 25. I did mention earlier in the end of part number 23 that we're going to go and get some money. Well, here we have $1.9 million, and we've reached level 25, so that means we've unlocked the Endurance League. Although, we're not going to do Endurances just yet. You play Fortnite? Sweet. And now I can have up to six B-Spec drivers. And I should show you guys something. I went and hired 2,000 Kart Series runner-up, Adrian Fernandez. So it's my third real driver. Adrian Fernandez is driving for the team now. And Flynn has been fired because Flynn sucks. But Kobayashi is now the lead driver of the entire team. You know, got him in the lead. I'll probably start streaming like tomorrow, 6 p.m., 10 a.m., PST. All right, man. Sounds good. Um, I won't be streaming tomorrow. Or if I do stream tomorrow, it will probably be for TRS Endurance, which I won't really do much commentary on. But we'll see. Depending if the race doesn't get canceled. But anyways, that's my driver lineup. And let's check out the dealership and see what we can get. Hmm. Oh, snap. Okay. Who is Vargas? Uh, Ryan. V he's Ryan Vargas, NASCAR k and Pro Series East driver. Nissan Silvia 240 RS. We could use this for the Japanese 80s festival, but let's see what else do we have. Oh, no way. Corvette? Okay. We're definitely buying that Corvette. Damn, really? Apt Audi TTR touring car with only three kilometers? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I don't want to spend that much money. Because we need to save up the money for, like, the Ferrari events and stuff, so... Yeah. We're going to buy the Corvette, and we're going to buy the Sylvia. Don't buy the Vet? Why not? Maximum mileage. Oh, you raced against the Sylvia or the 240 RS in the Sylvia Sisters event? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. The Spexy Impreza? Um, it won't come in. It won't be useful for us. We already have a 3000 GT we could use for the Turbo Championship, and we have an NSX we could use for the Japanese Championship. Okay, we're back. And I just went ahead and edited out me buying the cars because it takes kind of a while to do so in this game. But I went back to the dealership, bought. The Sylvia 240 RS. And the Impreza. The C3 is a less of a hassle. Well, I like the C3 more than the C1. And we're going to use it for B-Spec, so we're going to give it a try. I think it'll be fine, dude. We're only doing it for one event, which is Monza, anyways. Classic Monster Car Championship at Monza. What's the typical opponent list like? 497, so we're going to have to max this thing out. All right. Well, first of all, can we put a turbo kit on this thing? Supercharger, all right. Good enough. You know, since Monza is just a high-speed track, I don't really think we need to do much in terms of, like, suspension or anything. We just really need to put a bunch of power on this thing, get a transmission, and we'll be fine. So, exhaust, racing exhaust, so this thing's going to sound like a fart can. Let's drop some weight. Oh my god, 540, or 550 horsepower, 205 Evil 2, wheel spin so hard, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, Group B rally car, bro. Those things are just monstrous. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, you can't really expect much out of it. In terms of stability. So, there we go. Fully customizable transmission. 
single plate clutch. In icy tarmac, it's worse. I can imagine. Buy a good flywheel and sport hard tires to finish the job. Now, I'm predicting this race is going to be really easy. This is going to be one of the easiest races in the game. I mean, like I said, it's Monza. You know, we just have to tune up the car's transmission, just fix the gear ratios, and we will be okay. So yeah, one series, one race. Oh, medium compounds are the are the softest compounds we can use. Okay. Well, we're going to put uh, Fernandez up to the task. This will be his first proper race. I jinxed it? Probably not. If it were in GT4, it'd probably sound like a Calsonic Skyline. Oh wait, it's the Cobra. That, really? Oh my god, dude, that sucks, because I I haven't even heard the car with like any mufflers or anything. Well, there's no Buick Special. We're good. There's a GT5 video with the AutoZam fully tuned, and before it gets revealed that it was an AutoZam NS GT5 or vacuum cleaner. No kidding, the first time I saw the video, I thought it was a vacuum cleaner. With the race exhaust, yep. Dude, that's stupid. <laughs> Freaking PD with their horrible car sounds. I know what car you get won't tell that. Well, thank you for that. Zero beat. That's exactly the way I'd like it. This is a 165. That should be more than enough. There we go. So yeah, Fernandez just lacked acceleration and grip. So I bought him medium compound tires because, like we mentioned earlier, seems like that is the softest compound you can use. And on top of that... I went and adjusted the transmission. Wrong car, maybe? No. We can win with this car. We just needed better tires. Lola got the car at least wanted. <laughs> Damn. Alright. This turn is going to be really tricky with all the cars bunched up. Freaking Charger shoving us out of the way. So, zero, so Otan behind us, I'm going to say zero. Otan behind us in the Chevelle, he's been keeping up with us throughout the last race. I expect him to move to the front with us. Where this car excels is on the straightaways, so past the Scari and past the Parabolica, we should be able to get some positions. How fast is the or Charger going? 115. One free spot for Fernandez. In my opinion, the fact that this muscle car races at the so-called fastest F1 track in the calendar completes the, sh the cliche of classic American cars can't turn. <laughs> well, they can't. Wouldn't soft rear tires add more friction and therefore make it slower on the straights? I don't know. This is Gran Turismo logic. Somehow the sport mediums are making it better. I don't know. I'm already up to fifth on the first lap, so something is working now. In total, earn 8.2 million, 72 cars still have 5.9. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I don't know. The softer tires are starting to work for us.
You've earned 758,000 and you have 557. Nice. 19%? Oh, sweet, dude. That's actually really good. Money management, I see. Unlike my dumbass in this game, spending all that money on that shitty Fiat 500. 13,328 spec points? Nice. I'm at 0%. 7,262, okay. No B spec. Don't the mission challenges give you way more A spec points? Like they give you like 250 per win, right? I guess the A spec points are just to. It's for fun, I suppose. Maybe on the podium, Fernandez. Okay, that Corvette is pretty quick. But at least we're catching up to the lead pack. Nicely done, up to third. What's your B-Spec skill? Zero, zero, and zero. Yeah, bragging rights. Yeah, this thing I do called Car of the Day. Today it's 1997 Camaro. Nice. So, like, what do you, what exactly do you do for Car of the Day? It's just like you choose a random car to just drive throughout the day, or what? Is that just it? And how do you choose the cars? That's right, machine skill and core skill. Forgot that's a thing. You grind a lot with B spec? Ah, alright. Ooh, the Shelby. Really wide. He probably got hit by Huffman in the Camaro. Okay, both of these cars are seriously lacking straight line speed. The three Corvettes could pull through. So, halfway distance upon us, we're up to third. The guys ahead of us. Already hitting the rev limiter, so now we can start closing the gap just a little bit more. Let's hope the other Corvette doesn't catch us down. Let's turn one. Oh, he probably will. Nope. Early braking. All right. Grind so much with B spec, it's four times my A spec mileage. Oh shit. That is a lot of grinding, dude. What do you do? The DTM championship? That's like the one championship I know in GT4 that you can do a lot of money grinding with. No, I didn't. Sorry. Random car first, I think about it, and also I can't drive. Oh. Got it. The FGT Championship? Good lord. What did you use to grind that?
Like, how can you win the FGT FGT with B spec? Is your B spec driver that good? Well, right. <laughs> that's what I just figured. I mean, with that championship, I think it's, I think it's open. I think that's an open championship. You can use any car in there. Well, well, no. In GT4, you can use any car for the FGT championship. I remember back in, in when I was a kid, I tried using the Escudo there, and I got my ass whooped. So that's why I asked. Hey Barney, how's it going? Okay, the Corvette behind us is losing ground, so that's good. Ooh, second place, maybe? Come on, Fernandez, get the pass. Come on. See, that's why I like Fernandez. He's actually making moves, unlike Flynn. Flynn would hesitate. That's why he's fired, because he, he was hesitating way too much at the Polyphony Digital Cup. So we just need Fernandez to calm down and not get too crazy because that Camaro is even slower than the Shelby behind us. Oh, I accidentally hit pace up. But he should be okay. He's been doing good so far. I don't expect him to pass the Camaro. Oh, really, dude? What's going on? Anyways, I don't expect them to pass the Camaro in the Parabolica. I mean, Ascari, Ascari. But I do expect maybe a pass into turn one. Hell, not even the Parabolica. If he passes it there, I'll be surprised. But for sure, I expect a turn one pass. I like how the Shelby's like, I'm gaining on him, I'm gaining on him. Oh, my straight line speed, that's right. All right, final lap. Come on, Fernandez. You got this. That's right, the front, the finish line is not back there, like the F1 races, and on top of that, like a GT Sport. Nicely done, up to the lead. Oof, slow down just a little bit, please. Yes, they're side by side, sweet. The Shelby's up to second now, I'm about to say first. We just need one solid lap for Fernandez, and we're good. Need him to lower his pace. Heading into the chicane especially. I do not want any shenanigans. Nicely done. Oh, that sucks, dude. Yeah, dude, they've been nerfing a lot of the cars in DD Sport, like... One of my one of the guys who I run a league with, or I don't run a league, but I run in a league, held by some guy named Toby Sanford. His name is Skilled F1 Racer on PSN, and basically, he drove the GCR LMP1 car, and it was actually really good on quick stints, but not necessarily like tire management and stuff. But after the new update, they absolutely killed it. Like they killed it off, dude. Made it really terrible to drive. So yeah, I can understand. And I've been just hearing a lot that some of the cars have just been really funny to drive now. But I don't get it. Why would they nerf the Z4 when the Z4 wasn't even the problem in the Group 3 category to begin with? Like, that car's not even OP. Nobody uses it. Well, 
Miyazaki's losing straight line speed, hitting the rev limiter, we won. And even if Miyazaki makes a run for the finish, Fernandez is just going to outrun him top speed wise. Well, Shelby is first, not best of the rest. Oh no. Oh no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. See? We're good. Because he hit 130 and then he hit the rev limiter, we're fine. Hell, we ended up winning this race with a C1 Corvette. <laughs> I told you this was the right car to use. That photo finish could be the thumbnail or like the three generations of Corvettes could be the thumbnail. But don't worry guys, I know, I know. Save the goddamn replay. Because I've been forgetting a lot to save the replays. There we go. Replay's been saved. And now prize card time. I'm guessing we're going to get a Buick special, but I could be wrong. I have no idea what we're going to get. So there it is. Muscle car championship complete. All of my drivers are feeling really good right now. Ooh, Shelby Cobra. Nice. <laughs> PD was keeping their eyes on CK. Yeah, he, that guy's too fast with the Z4. Mm -mm. Nerf. Our top priority is to nerf that car. Oh, and it's premium as well. Yes, Guardsman Blue. Yes. That's exactly the color I wanted. That's the best Cobra color. And here it is, our brand new Shelby Cobra. So, next time on Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec, we're going to be doing the Supercar Nostalgia Cup.